Today, we're gonna to test a golf ball that every golfer needs, but no golfer really wants. Intriguing, I know. Let's do it, and let's do it now. This isn't it, by the way. Mm, not bad. Maybe we should hit another one. Let's hit, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, you can never lose a provisional ball, right? Yeah. Never lose a provisional ball. Better. Every golfer needs, no golfer wants. Look at that. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first. I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel or to the channel if you're new to the channel. Guys, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, I'm testing the age old theory of the rule of four, life, death, taxes, and you never lose a provisional ball. And you see guys, you didn't really expect me to lose a ball on this first hole, did you? I mean, it's always important to hit a provisional ball if you feel like you've potentially lost one. Um, but I actually hit a good one off the first tee there for the first time in, well, what seems like forever. So, strange one. Um, but at least we get a gauge for distance on the provisional ball. I'm going to get round to that against the TP5X picks, which I usually use. Speaking of provisional balls, um, so this is the provisional ball in question. And it is, I mean, there's no clickbait around this here. This is a provisional golf ball. You see, guys, I got these off Amazon and the cost, well, they cost a little bit more than what I would have wanted them to cost. I mean, to be fair, they were £8.99. With postage, I paid about 14 quid for them. Probably ones are like 12 quid. Um, and with a bit of provisional ball, you should only need one because you never lose a provision. I'm assuming they think they're going to wear out because you, you you're never going to lose one, are you? I'm assuming we'll probably prove that wrong in this video, but right. Oh, the TP5X picks is up there, by the way, by about 20 yards. Uh, we'll go eight. We'll go eight. Mm, we'll go nine. We'll go nine. That felt so hard off the club face. Really hard. It's actually not done too bad. It's gone long. Gone long. Always feel that bit vindicated when you club down and you still go along. Like the first decision would have been a nightmare. So let's just pace out. One, two, three, four, five. How far? Have you ever tried counting in your head while you're talking? It's very difficult to, to do. I've lost count. Basically, we're on about 30 now, 35, probably about 30 yards difference with the, uh, yeah. And they cost the same price, really, with the postage and things. But I thought this opportunity of a provisional ball was too good to give up, guys. Hit those comments below. Who here remembers hitting a provisional ball and saying to yourself or saying to your playing partners, why can't I just do that first time? Those, those provisional balls. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to play a handful of holes here at Huddersfield Golf Club with these provisional balls. I'm going to talk to you about them, talk to you about what they offer. Um, the TP5 can go away for today. And we'll talk about the mindset of a provisional ball. Well, not the best place to leave that shot, although that is a horrible pin position. So these golf balls are, and not only in the rules, I don't really know what that means, but I suppose the rule is you have to play a provisional ball if you feel like it's lost, or if you don't say provisional ball, then generally, has anyone ever been caught out with that? You've not said provisional, you've hit a second one and you've been pulled on it anyway. Whether a pro or weekend hacker, every golfer knows what a provisional is. Potentially, this new provisional golf ball is a high performance two piece golf ball that gives a great combination of soft field distance and short game control. I must have mishit that one off the tee then. Let's see what it's like for short game. Right. Chris won't be happy with this. Sit. Go in. Ah. That's gone uh, a little bit far. A little bit too far. Right, so. 
chipping into the wind there. I'm not going to expected that to check even a little bit. It was a good strike, but it didn't. I love the alignment aid on this, or I suppose we could just call it an arrow. But if we look, but if we look here, very, very simple. And a lot of golf manufacturers could learn from that because that's feel-wise, uh, not sure. Come on, clear up for your par. Just we'll take it and move on. So guys, when anyone saw this video and the title of the video and the thumbnail of the video, did anyone get it? Did anyone, has anyone seen these balls before? Have you bought them? Have you tried them? What do you think of them if you have? Because uh, I'm, uh, the jury's out, the jury's out. And you'll all know that I do a lot of golf ball testing on this channel. I test golf balls that cost 10p, test golf balls that cost £3.50, £4. And a lot of it does come down to the price. It boils down to the price. And for me already, yeah, I'm getting the sense of, well, they've just kind of picked out a really clever name for it. Obviously, provisional, everyone kind of associates a provisional ball with not... Everyone just associates a provisional ball with not losing a golf ball, don't they? Because you should never be able to lose a provisional. But... Um, They've even, I can't, we've even got the Pro in a different colour. Tor Visional, could say, couldn't it? The reason for the wedge, I'm just going to kind of feel wise, very firm. This is a two piece golf ball, so we're not expecting too much. How does it cope into the wind? You know what? We're going to go, we're going to go TP5 first, because obviously you have to. Provisional has to be a provisional, doesn't it? So we'll go driver again, because why not? We only live once. See how they compare. Oh, I've nailed that one. Provisional is going to do really well to get past that. That's up there. Right, I'm, I'm going to even use the, the arrow just to... Because why not? Can't lose a provisional ball. Oh, I've ripped that as well. That's gone so far, so higher. Just gone in the deep rough, but I know we can't lose it. So the anxiety levels are at an all time low. It went a lot higher, so I'm not really, I'm not really expecting it to be up there with the TP5X because I mean, that was an absolute knuckle ball. It came out a lot lower. It's more of a premium ball. You can't know what to expect with it. It actually felt good off the driver, the provisional ball. Felt okay, but then it kind of went... If we got that flight off the first, maybe... Maybe? I hope I haven't lost it. And before you all start, no, that wasn't worthy of a four left shout. And there was no one there. So interestingly, I want to really get the comments flowing in this video, so... First of all, have you ever seen or heard of the provisional ball? But also, what's the best name of a golf ball you've ever heard? I know a couple of people commented on the video I did last week on the, on the Left Dash Pro V1, saying, well, even if it's better, it's the worst name golf ball ever. Pretty bold shout, but it's not a great name for a golf ball, is it? Whereas provisional ball, strong title, it's a strong name. Is it a bit of fun? Is it a joke? Am I a joke to you? Am I? Um, well, every golfer needs one. Right, so we have TP5X picks in the middle of the fairway. Unbelievable today, that. Um, where is provisional? When Tom hit it up here, he got the best lie ever. So hopefully we'll get the same. We know we can't lose it. Impossible to, here we go. Uh, it's not quite the best lie ever. Hmm, those arrows are not going to help me in there, are they? It's not done bad distance-wise, to be fair to it, there. Actually, I've just been to go and pick that up, and it was still a good, uh, still a good, still a good 15 yards. Right. That is sat so badly. Is there a little pitching wedge? Between a pitching wedge and a nine iron. Sit down. Depend, that's, I mean, call that a flyer, but... Not terrible. 
So one thing I haven't been able to find, I've been able to find about it being a two-piece ball, about it having long distance, about it having super duper spin around the green, soft feel, all the rest. One thing I've not found is what the cover's made of, but generally you can tell what a golf ball cover's made of. A Titleist Pro V1, a TaylorMade TP5 has a urethane cover, it's softer, it's more leave an imprint if you put your fingernail in it. Whereas the more budget golf balls have a cheaper cover known as an elastoma cover. I was going to film this up on the green but I knew that I'd forget the word elastoma. So you're getting it here instead. We can only be honest can't we? Where's that? That's actually done impeccably well. I mean you're never going to go at that flag. So, so the distance control was right and that's really all we want out of that lie. And you see I'm massively in between in this video doing a real serious review on this and well, um, not. Come on, let's hold a nice one here. Turn, go in, go in. Oh, what a great putt that is, if I do say so myself. Well that's two pars in two, you know. And starting to get used to the feel. I suppose I'm not going to say that I'm not going to say that it feels good because that would be um, false. It would be a lie. But I'm definitely getting used to it. Definitely getting used to it. So guys, let's get those comments fired up once again. Do you know what your golf ball is made out of? Do you know if it's made out of elastoma? Do you know if it's made out of what was the other one I said? Urethane. Expensive plastic or cheap plastic? Either way. Right, par five to finish on. Eagle time. I don't know why I always take my bag up there, because I can just leave it here. Leave it here and just take... We've hit enough drivers, let's go driving iron. Now, so far, I don't think it's done enough to kind of tear me away from the TP5 or the Pro V1 or, well, it's definitely not done enough. It's definitely not done enough. Does anyone use these properly, like buy them and use them? I only bought, I only saw packs of three. I didn't see packs of a dozen, which makes me kind of think probably not. But then I thought you only need to buy one, provisional, never lose it, right? So there is a medal going on today. So we're doing a little bit of waiting round, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it gives me a little bit of time to give you a bit of a warning really, not just on provisional balls, but also just be careful what you buy off the internet. Amazon, eBay, Wish, is it Wish? Be careful out there. 14 quid these. 14 quid. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of lake balls, isn't it? Oh, where's it gone? I don't know. Right, well, anyway, on a more positive note, this holds downwind, and we've all seen, hopefully, and we've all seen, hopefully, how I've been doing on this par five. I think the last few rounds have been eagle, lipped out for albatross, still only made birdie, but feeling confident about this now, obviously using the provisional ball, only the provisional ball on this hole, so we can't lose it. Um, it's got to be eagle, hasn't it? Right. Right. We'll give them another second, because... Uh, Behind the scenes news, anyway, I'm red hot in this and I can't take it off because I've only wired the mic up to the jumper and it would take ages to... So... Yeah, anyway, right, come on. Just draw down that middle. Is it going to come out high? Is it going to come out low? Nobody knows. It's drawing. Sit. 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 and that's why you hit two iron in case you do leak it out to the right that's okay it wasn't the best but we can't even blame the ball for that nope that was me right so really the only thing left to kind of play for on this video now because i can't really go into too much more depth about it i mean i can show you the the amazon receipt if you like but um what can we score can we score a good score with it because to me the golf ball always comes down to what numbers do you produce with it and not necessarily what spin rate, what ball speed, what axis of whatever can you get, but what numbers can you post, what can you shoot, what can you score? That is the be all and end all of using a golf ball, of choosing a golf ball. Bit of a rhyme going on there, isn't it? But anyway, that is, that is basically why you buy golf balls. So at 14 quid, I mean, let's be fair, I'd have to birdie every hole, wouldn't I? But 
Um, basically, we're going to see if we can make birdie down this par five. Join me if you like. If you, uh, go on. If you're still here, comment. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I might leave that in, I might not. So, I mean, in fairness, because that was another poor golf swing, and on the evidence, we've got to say, can you lose a provisional golf ball? Um, I mean, you can't, but you, basically, it can guarantee you that you will be in a divot for every single shot. So, you can't lose it, but you will be in a divot. Can we go for the green here? Yeah. We'll wait for them again, but we will. Imagine trying to get on a green on a par five out of a divot. Only with a provisional ball. Medals play the future. You know what, guys, we're going to lay up because I ain't got time for this. No, don't let it. Don't let it. You have got time. Don't be that guy. So we might as well tell you about the shot actually, it's about kind of 210, uh, we had a lot of this in the match with Tom the other day, it's 210, it's downhill, downhill lie, so the loft on this 7 iron that I'm going to hit, and a lot of people said you hit a 7 iron 215 yards, I'm like well yeah, because that loft on the 7 iron is now more like a loft on a 5 iron, it's going to land short, roll down, it's got a bad lie so you're going to get a flyer, it's not going to spin as much, that gives you a knuckleball, and um, it's downwind as well. Right, right. See if that uh, vindicates what I've just said. I'll tell you what, that could. Oh, it's landed in the rough, it's going to be short. Not bad though, not bad. What are the chances of that though? Two tee shots in a row landing in a divot. Uh, to be honest, I've got no complaints with that because I'm not on the fairway. The biggest thing for me with going in a divot is if you're in the fairway, I feel like you should potentially get a free drop, but. That's just me anyway. I feel like I'm really waffling on this video now, so I'm going to show you the close out and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. But Got to be honest as well, the further and further we're getting down here, the more like I'm thinking this actually might not be too bad because I'm yet to see it. I'm hoping it's just down that little ridge and then that would be ideal, but I'll keep you posted. Still not seeing it. Still not. Could it have made the bunker? It can't be around there. Maybe it's down this little... This is a result if it's down here. Uh, could it be? Oh, I'll tell you what, that's done. That's done very well. What's it like out of bunkers? This for a big bird. Two for another birdie on this hole. Can we get a bit of... bit of spin? Go a little. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I'm not sure if it's circle of friendship, but but it is a birdie putt. This is for one under. This is for one under on the three holes with a provisional ball, kind of, sort of. I mean, we found the first one, so really, I've cheated. Really, I'm disqualified. Record with putting has been good with it. Got it. Oh, he's got fast. Three pars, provisional ball. Can't even pick it up. Well guys, that was the only golf ball that every golfer needs and no golfer wants. So if you did get the, get the riddle, then uh, give me a shout guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like, comment below. Get those comments flowing in this video for us today. Um, and apart from that guys, I'll really look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye.